Hey guys and welcome to a new YouTube video of us. Today we're going to show you some of our favorite exercises towards a better back bend, but also towards more spinal strength in extension. So we're looking forward to showing you the exercises and hope you enjoy it. When we train the spine, specifically the back bend, or towards um, better spinal extension, it's not only about getting more range of motion, but also getting more control. And we want to do that by doing some um, hinge point training. So I'm going to use this little rock. You can use whatever you want. Um, and the goal is that you just basically lay on top of this little um, object that you're using. And we're trying to and we're trying to just hinge from exactly the point where this little object is placed. So we're going to use um, four different positions for this um, and then hover right where we left off. So it's going to look something like this. I will place this directly underneath my chest so that I can feel it. So now I'm on the rock I can feel where the rock is and I try to find a connection to my spine and lift from exactly the point where that rock touches my um, chest. So if I use my lumbar spine, I would do this, but we don't want to use the lumbar spine. So belly button sucked in, glutes slightly engaged, and then just try to lift from the chest. And then we're going to hold this position for five seconds per rep. So three to four repetitions on this hinge or at this point, and then you're just gonna take this rock or the object, place it on your solar plexus, lay down. And now you want to try and hinge from the solar plexus. So again, belly button sucked in, core is engaged, you hinge. Slowly lower down. Again, we want to hold for five seconds at the top to get more strength as well while we also build the control. And then you can just basically work your way down starting here, going to here, here and here, just working your way from the bottom, uh, from the top of the spine down to the bottom of the spine and trying to build control and strength at the same time through all these different places and positions of the spine. As you probably know, because you're a regular human being on this planet Earth, we're spending a lot of time in spinal flexion, sitting at a desk, looking at our phones. So what we, what we don't spend a lot of time in is spinal extension. So the first thing that we want to do is open up the interior chain and engage in contracting the posterior chain to allow um, the posterior ch chain to, s to get stronger while the anterior chain is in a stretch position. So what we're going to do is imagine you want to do a tabletop or a glute bridge. Now instead of just thrusting up, touch your um, Try to grab your ankles, get your heels as close to your butt as possible, and now you want to lift up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together as much as you can. And basically what you're trying to do is build a bridge or make a bridge. So you want to engage your glutes and push the hips up towards the ceiling. So as high as you can. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Low back and glutes are engaged and active. And hold that stretch for 30 to 60 seconds, depending on how long you can. And try to increase the time under tension. So at first it may be 30 seconds, then it's 60 seconds, and maybe eventually you'll be able to hold it for two minutes. Um, and you want to make sure that you still keep that active contraction so the, the glutes are always active, they're not relaxed, so that you really build that strength 
of the posterior chain while the anterior chain is in that open in that open position so guys next exercise is really good and really interesting again towards a stronger back bend and a stronger spinal extension we have an active hero but with a focus on spinal extension and segmentation so and um, we're gonna need a wall and a soft ground for our knees and for our ankles here and start by um, going as close to the wall as you can So I'm touching with my forehead the wall and everything is connected to the wall. And as I try to go in a spinal extension or a spinal extended position, I start with my cervical spine first going into extension. My chest is still on the wall. Then I hinge my or um, go with my um, thoracic spine in extension, then the teal junction and then the lumbar spine. But my hip is still in full contact with the wall. So you really feel um, your spine very nicely and you can you get a really good feedback from the wall when to go into more extension for each and part of your spine, okay? As you reach your hip, and then you get the, get the information, okay? My whole spine is in extension now and actually my hip can get off the wall as well. So, I'm gonna demonstrate you one clean rep right now. So from here, cervical extension, thoracic, TL, glutes engaged, And on my way back, first the hips come comes on the ground um, on the wall, then the belly button, lumbar spine, teal junction, thoracic spine, and cervical spine. Okay, so you can practice that with four to six repetitions because these are very hard, not only for your spinal extensors but also for hip extension with maintaining the glutes activated. If you're not as strong yet. You can easily <coughs> you can e easily use some yoga blocks or some elevation behind you so that your head touches um, or first um, touches the yoga blocks um, instead of being in the air and cannot hold it. You cannot hold it anymore and you collapse. So that's not what you want. So train at your current strength level so you can just use some yoga blocks. I can show it to you right now. If they don't fall down. So, whew. try it like that. So I'm here on the wall. Trying to go into extension. Touch the blocks. And come up again. You saw, this was a lot easier for me now and maybe too easy for me but you get the point right and to use some elevation as a regression to build up more strength over time so use this exercise as a set four to six reps you can do two to three sets and this is a really good one for more spinal extension strength so guys the final exercise we're going to show you of our favorite exercise for the back bend is um, a nice good passive stretch in a cobra position so for this, we love to use um, two yoga blocks because you can easily adjust them in different angles depending on your current um, spinal mobility, spinal extension, and you get a really nice, deep, passive stretch. And you can adjust this position um, depending really on your st current strength. So let's get into it. I'm gonna show you um, the first variation of this stretch is gonna be just slightly diagonal you see by sliding it further back the angle is not that that high compared to this so I'm making this um, I'm using this angle right here and I'm placing myself right here on the blocks with my hands I'm gonna push tall push my chest out so I'm not only focusing on a lumbar extension but also pushing my chest out 
focusing on thoracic extension. So in this position, you can either be completely relaxed, feel the passive stretch, still pushing you tall and push the chest out, but you can also, in this, during this stretch, you can also activate your glutes, activate your spinal extensors to really try to gain more strength, even though it's a very passive and supported setup, okay? So, as I said, you can adjust it by increasing the angle. This way you are much, much taller and <clears throat> you will instantly feel more compression in um, your lower back area. Therefore, it is um, wisely to really have already a strong and good hip extension and a strong spinal extension bef um, before you start um, increasing the angle, okay? So this is a good stretch. You can use, again, two to three sets for one to two minutes of deep stretch and activate your extensors and glutes for five to 10 seconds during that stretch for a couple of times if you want. But also, you can also do it passively, okay? So depending on what you want. So these were, these were the four exercises um, that you can incorporate into your spine training towards a better back bend, a stronger back bend, and stronger spinal extension. So if you wanna increase your mobility, not only in your spine, but whole body, and you're interested in an, in, in an individualized program for yourself, then book the free call um, down below, in the link down below, and we're there for you to help you to bring you on the next level of your mobility. So I wanna see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed, leave us a like or a comment in the subscription down below. See you guys next time.